Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, long overdue in the studio. Long overdue. Well, we did want it rolling loud, but long overdue to have him in the building. Slater is here with me. What's up, bro? Man, welcome back for the yeah. third time. Te- third, ter- yeah, third time technically that we've this, done something this is our together. Third interview, man, but it's my first time here with the with the green clouds and shit. Where we filmed your freestyle right before this, you bodied it. You know what I'm saying? We did a nice little two beat switch up. Yeah, too hard. I'm really loving these beat switch ups, and I'm really loving how everybody's getting real creative with them. Like you killed that shit today too. So I gotta give I gotta give that up to you, my guy. My guy. And you got a new project out right now. We got a lot to talk about today. Yeah, we here, man. We here. I came here to talk, man. First thing we got to talk about, bro. When I saw you at Rolling Loud, right? Yeah. You told me we was lay- we was laying off the drink. What's go- what happened? We what was going on? I know you want to talk about drink, it, man. We back on that drink. Man. I just like getting high, man. That's what it is. Man. Feel me? I'm not no role model, man. <laughs> I just like getting high. I bet you did say that at Rolling Loud too. Yeah, I'm not no role model, man. We here getting high. We getting big high, man. Feel me? Go hard or go home. How long? How long did the sobriety tip last? <laughs> When was rolling out? November. November. You said you you was at a month in November. Probably like the week after that. <laughs> back active, you feel me? Back lit, back in that mode, back on that shit. But are you at least like in like um what's the word I'm looking for here? Um in moderation, like so so you could make sure you get your work done and shit like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, no, good. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's all that. I, that's all that matters. That you. I don't sip green either. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Sipping good shit, man. We, I ain't gonna lie. You sipping wild Quagan, Trish, you feel me? You paying a high for this shit, man. We ain't sipping no green, man. You sipping green, you might as well not sip no drink at all. Wise That's... words from Slater right there. Nah, but I wanted to make sure, I wanted to check in, make sure you good, because you also fresh off tour with OGZ. Yeah, tour right? life, yeah. Because we were talking in the we were talking in the DMs when you were on tour, and I was just telling you how happy I was that you know that you that you back outside, you getting back to be on tour and shit like that. And um, how was tour? How was it being uh, hit, sh- back sh- being hitting the road? That shit was lit. I ain't gonna lie, because bro got a different fan base. Like bro got like a lot of like female fans. You feel me? Mm. He got the land community and shit. You feel me? So when I pulled up. I ain't gonna lie. I was getting like 70, 80 new followers every day. You feel me? After, when I get off stage, I just check my phone literally after I get off stage and my shit booming. Or so I ain't gonna lie, so hard. That's cool. I always wondered like how that works when like on tour. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're on tour and you know you're on tour with OGZ, like after you perform, the, the, like does the performance equate to followers sometimes? Cause I always wondered that. Like Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. By the end of the tour, I had like like two thousand new followers and shit. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, by the end of the tour. And I go on tour, I put on the show, get off stage, check my gram, it's lit. Girls in the DM, you feel me? I can ask them where the after party at. You know what I'm saying? What was your favorite moment from the tour? Or do you have a crazy story from the tour? I ain't gonna lie on tour, we got it popping. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Chicago was some crazy shit. Chicago? Man. Shout out my nigga Warrior, man, OGZ manager, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro got stabbed up. They stabbed bro up, bro, cat. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, they stabbed him, man. What bro. the hell? But we won, though, you feel me? We got the upper hand in that situation. Man. Chicago's crazy. Yeah, it was on a day off, too, you feel me? Oh, so y'all was just chilling type shit. Man, but it was some light shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like, bro, got stabbed, you know what I'm saying? It was, got some light shit, you feel me? Like, he good, though. Do you have any po- any good tour memories that, that, you know, any crazy good tour memories? Um, Let me see. I don't know. Not really. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna you lie. just lit the whole time. Just tour bus. You know what I'm saying, wilding out on the tour bus after the shows. You was lit after the tour. After, after the after the motherfucking um after the shows in the tour bus lit. How the tour between y'all come about? Like, how did did he reach out to you? Nah, yeah, that's my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's my nigga. Like, um, so Smokers Club did the tour. They sponsored the tour okay. with um Diamond Supply. You feel me? Got you. And on the clothing tip, I got a collaboration with Diamond Supply mm-hmm. with my cold game shit. You feel me? Right. And then OGZ is my man. We already had the song that we had. We had that song for like two years. So it was only right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I hit bro up. Like, nigga, I seen the fly. I'm like, oh, bro, I'm not on this tour, nigga. <laughs> nigga like, nah, I say no more. You on it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. He let me rock the whole time. Nigga on the tour bus. You feel me? On the tour bus the whole time. Word. And that's my dog. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with bro. He a real nigga, man. I fuck with Jeezy, man. Shout out my nigga OGZ. Shout out OGZ. And you already ready to go back on tour. You was just talking over there like, all right, it's time for me to go on tour. Yeah, yeah. But we ain't gonna talk about that till we you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say who's tour or what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. But I, you already, like, you've been home for like, what, like a month? And you already ready to get back out. <laughs> Facts. I ain't trying to jinx it, but we gonna back on the road, man. Not gonna wood. We got any? Yeah. Not gonna not wood, you feel I me? I got you, bro. Then I'm gonna do my own little tour. I ain't gonna lie. I got a little tour coming up. You know what I'm saying? Before the actual tour, I'm gonna do like a couple shows. You know what I'm saying New York, Philly, Jersey. Right. Feel me? Because we got a we got a new project out right now that we got to promote. Can't feel Com- my face. Bro. Can't feel my face. Completely independent too. 
Yeah, I dropped it myself, uploaded it myself, you feel me? Let me tell you the the first thing I really like about it, aside from the music. Like, I like the how the cover art, like, it really gives me, like, the Dat Piff era vibe to it. Was that what you were going for? You got it spot on. Like, it's the vibe, you feel me? I went back old school, uh, French Montana, Max B, yep, um, yep, yep. Lil Wayne vibe. That's why he's even called Can't Feel My Face, you feel me? Because of the Jewels and that Lil Wayne tape that never Word. came out, you feel me? Yeah. So you were inspired by by that tape to yeah coke. not even by that tape because the tape never dropped but just by that that era you feel me mm -hmm. like I ain't gonna lie I'm about to just flood you feel me you remember before Wayne was just flooding with music and shit yeah all my tapes they gonna look like that now I'm about to drop uh, still can't feel my face next month oh you already back on oh well, hold on before we get to still can't feel my face I want to talk about this project right here what I like about it and what I was telling you a little bit before the interview is like to me because obviously you and I have known each other for a couple of years now and I've known of you for a little longer than that. What I like about you is like you're an artist who is able to grow and adapt and change with the times and still, you know, try new sounds and get on new sounds that are, you know, going on in the city and whatnot, but still keep it like fully authentically yourself and still bring your own type of sauce to the table with it. And that's right. something that I got that, you know, I feel like people got to give you respect for. Nah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, now I ain't gonna lie. Like, I just do... I do anything, I ain't gonna lie. When I really started making music, I started on some like boom bap drill type shit. Nah, boom bap drill, just boom bap, you feel me? On mm -hmm. some straight bar shit. And then that was my first EP I ever dropped was on some like rap rap shit, you feel me? Then my second tape, it was more on some melodic shit. And then when I dropped Code That Night, which was, it was like my first, you feel me? Like my real shit. Mm -hmm. It was a blend like kind of like boom bap and melodic together, you feel me? So now we on that drill shit, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I can't feel my face. I did sample drill shit. That's why I got Shawnee on there. That's why I got Yaya on there. That's why I got Aura on there. Cause mm -hmm. them niggas doing that shit right now, you feel me? So I had to tap in. Like I'm saying it was only right to get them niggas on that shit. Right. Some of the originators yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of of the of that movement. How did you first link up with like Shawnee and all them from Queens? I ain't gonna lie. How I found out about Shawnee was I think I told you, I ain't tell you. No, nah, I don't think so. I thought I did. No, nah, because I think at interview. Rolling Loud we spoke about like do, you doing the song with like K and Okay. And, and two six. I don't think we spoke about Shawnee. So Shawnee, you might tease that you had something going on with him. Oh yeah. So Shawnee actually, when I dropped my song, her famous, he bought the merch. Like now, I even know what I'm saying. I, I I wasn't even familiar with bro. You feel me? And he copped the shirt from the website. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not cold game. He copping Slater merch. Like you know what I'm saying? So he take a picture, put the shirt on, tag me and shit, and then I. You know when you repost it, put it on the ground. Yeah. Everybody like, oh shit, like Shawnee Wayne your shit, Shawnee Wayne your shit. I'm like, oh yeah. So after that, I started peeping bullshit. I'm like, yo, good looking. He actually went on the website and ordered it. It's not a lot of rappers doing that shit. Like all these rappers want free shit, man. This nigga actually went, purchased it. You feel me? You can see his name, you can see his address, you can see, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. Try to scam my website. You feel me? He had authentic purchase. You feel <laughs> scam me? my website. Yeah, he ain't try. He ain't try to piece my site. You feel me? And Yo, shout out to B. Shout out my nigga Shawnee. After that, we linked up. I ain't gonna lie, he a real nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like one of the gentle ones, one of this shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with both for real, for real. That's why I fuck with his whole camp. Shout out yeah, yeah, man. Shout out D Aura, man. Shout out the whole gang. Whole yellow tape boys. The whole YTB, man. I fuck with them niggas. I ain't gonna lie, man. Them niggas gotta keep doing their shit. And like you said, you see he had the whole gang in here for the cypher mm -hmm. and shit. Like, not a lot of niggas do that. It's just worry about they self, you feel me? Like, I fuck with niggas that do for their whole gang. Nah, I fuck with that. And yo, Shawnee going on your site and paying for <laughs> paying for it I, is 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 crazy. But in a good way. It's like, damn, like, you know, you don't really see too much of that. Like, we say support is free and support is free. But like when you go that extra mile to like you know show somebody you love, some show somebody you fuck with, you know he probably saw the hoodie. He's like, this is hard. I fuck with Slater. Let me go buy this shit and really yeah, support. Yeah, and I support even him. know bro at the time. You feel me? Like it's not like we had a friendship or mm. you know what I'm saying like I ain't even know bro at the time. And he showed that love. You feel me? So I'm showing that love back, man. We smoking that Grinch the pack, man. You feel me? We supporting however you can support, man. Shout out, man. Shout out YTB. Word. And obviously, you know, OGZ's on the project, Chris is on the project. How, 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 with this project, with picking the features, how did you kind of go about picking the features? Them the members, man. Like, Chris, that's my dog. Like, Chris is like, me and Chris got... Ton of songs together. Yeah, we got like four songs out. Videos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Music videos. You know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie. People want that tape, man. They want that... You want that Slater Critch tape, man? We might have to give it to him. Whoa. You this you telling him right now that we, we got it done? We might have to give it to him, man. He nah, he know what's up, man. We got that. We got something to cut. Word. So, we got we got over like ten songs recorded already. Man. When it came to like doing a whole type of drill tape, was it? I don't want to say was it difficult for you, but was it like a challenge for you? You know what I'm saying? As someone who you know didn't traditionally like or like start off making drill music, or how did how how did you kind of adjust to 
making a whole tape around this sound. I ain't gonna lie, it was easy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got big high. <laughs> it was easy. Yeah, I got big high. That's why it's called Can't Feel My Face. I literally did that tape in two days. With everybody, too. Well, I mean, I mean, well, not with everybody, but you got the features and whatnot. And... Like the song with Critch, I already had. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. The song with Critch, I already had. But the it. other joints, the yeah. Shit with OGZ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shit with, um, with Shawnee, he sent me that shit, you feel me? He sent me the song. Fucking the shit with um, Aura. We locked in the studio, did it. Yeah, it was like two days, I ain't gonna lie. It was two days of recording and like a week of getting it together, type shit. So still can't feel my face. That comes out. And still can't feel my face, man, way. next month, man. Where we in? We in February right now? Yeah. So March? This February, you got 28 days? Or is it gonna t it's 27 this month. Hey, 28? 28? Thank or you. 28, man. February 28, man. Still can't feel my face. <laughs> February, February 28th. It's coming. Yeah. I feel like you're... Well, first with this project, did you record it in two days, too? Or you got to record it? The new still one. can't feel my face? Yeah. yeah. I recorded that shit. When I dropped, Can't Feel My Face, that same day I was in the studio and I knocked out like five songs, you feel me? So we still missing like, we still missing a couple songs, but nigga, I'll do that shit tomorrow, you feel me? I'll go in the studio tomorrow, tomorrow. Knock it out. Yeah, and I'll put that shit together. Get the like, features in, sent in all that good stuff. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta come with some wacky, I gotta come with some wacky features and shit. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta come with some shit that niggas don't expect for this one, I ain't gonna lie. Some, well, something that people won't expect, who, who would that be? Who do you think? Why Just throw I, it out there, might as well. I can't say it, man. I ain't gonna lie, I can't say it, man. Cause you know, I want some shit that niggas will be surprised when I drop that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody, not even my man's man, some shit mm. like that. You feel me? Like, when I drop the shit, when I drop the shit with motherfucking, um, damn, what's that shit we dropped, Katie? Uh, on Code at Night. With Lil Gotti, you feel me? Lil Gotti was a oh, random yeah, yeah. feature that I yeah. had, you feel me? Like, niggas didn't expect that shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit with Lil Gotti, you feel me? Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do some shit like that, you feel me? Come with some random shit that niggas don't expect. It seems like you're having fun being independent. Yeah, that shit fun as hell, man. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> shit fun as hell. But I ain't gonna lie, it's your own pocket, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay for your own shit, man, you feel me? But the return is good because you get 100% of that shit, you feel me? I ain't gonna and lie. you kind of like, you could drop whenever you want. Like I say, I'm, I just dropped the tape, you know what I'm saying? With the label, I don't think, Katie, what you think? We, we going to be able to do that shit with Cinematic? What you think? We think if I drop the tape, we going to be able to drop Still Can't Feel My Face a month later? She said I so might not recommend yo, it off camera. So the label don't recommend it, but I could have did it. So yeah, yeah. Because nah, cause, cause Cinematic, I ain't going to lie, Cinematic is not like a major label. You feel me? Cinematic is, um, is an independent label, so mm -hmm. it's the same shit. You feel me? It's literally the same shit. So I ain't have a problem dropping like... I always got my release dates. I could drop on. And you did I drop want. quite a bit under them. Yeah, I'm saying I always had my release dates. I always, I'm saying I used to tell Katie like, "Oh, Katie, when we drop, and I'm saying let's put this shit together." And Katie was on it, man. Shout out Katie K, man. You feel me? The best manager, the cinematic guy. You heard? Whoa. Word. Yeah. And you, you know, and you've been dropping like a ton of singles too. So it's really just been, you know, you've been putting out music. You dropped, the, you dropped the freestyle that you that uh, that you were like, oh, for my day ones, and you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on some like on some rap rap shit. Yeah, went to freestyle. I forgot I dropped it too. I just woke up feeling like dropping, and I dropped it. So we couldn't we couldn't do that shit. When, you know what I'm saying cinematic because they want they want that shit to hit the playlist and all that. You feel me? Yeah, of but course. But we needed like two weeks in advance. Katie was like, yo, whatever you do, man, send that shit two weeks in advance, man. We. We get that shit to Spotify and all that shit, playlists, all Just that. marketing things. Yeah, marketing things, but we on some fucking shit, man. Whatever whatever hits, hits, man. Whatever works, works, man. With everything going on right now, right? Because obviously there's a lot going on in the city, a lot of different sounds in the city. How do you feel about like everything that's been happening lately, like with the drill sound and, you know? Because we've been having a lot of discussions about like people- Man, free my nigga K-Flock, man. Free Flock, you are. Free my nigga Flock, man. He innocent, man. Shout out Flock, man. That boy we innocent. miss you, bro. Yeah, shout out my nigga, man. But now nah, they going crazy. The Bronx going crazy right now. I ain't going to lie. I fuck with it. I'm a fan of that shit, for real. All them niggas going crazy, man. Shout, shout out my nigga Booba, too. Booba Savage. Shout man. out Booba. Yeah, <laughs> shout, shout out to Booba, man. man. <laughs> Who you been listening to lately? Lately? Yeah. On my phone now. Are oh, you about I, to check your Apple? Yeah, because I don't want to lie to you and just say random names. Who got, who got Slater's phone? So we can check. You know, this is a podcast. We can keep it raw, unedited. Keep this shit raw, man. Shout my nigga Gabe, too, yo. Of course, man. We we in this, this is our third. Oh, it's, you have it on you, apparently. Check your, yeah, check your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Can't feel my face. Yeah. That, <laughs> can't feel my phone. I ain't gonna lie. Out now. <laughs> I'm, I'm ain't gonna lie. I'm high as hell, the Gabe. You heard? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm smacked. You feel me? I'm surprised I'm, I'm even giving you like a, 
Not one of the dead interviews like niggas be like too cool on that fake too. Nah, nah bro. Well, we've done this three times. I see you got the that's a new Benny. Is that the new Benny? The Benny the Butcher. Yeah, Benny the Butcher. Yeah, Cole. Oh my here. God, incredible record. Shout out right my there. nigga Benny the Butcher. We got Babyface Ray right here. We got NBA Young Boy Colors. Who from New York have you been listening to lately? New York. Um, let me see what I got here from New York. Fuck with Wiley the Sensei. He hard. Okay. He hard. New York, New York rappers gotta put their shit on DSPs. Yeah, my nigga J.I. ain't gonna lie. Shout out my nigga J.I. I was just with Bro in the studio yesterday, man. J.I. from from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just with Bro in the studio yesterday, you feel me? What would you like, you know, because you've been, obviously, we've known each other for a few years and you've been rapping for, for a little bit of time. What would you tell these young kids out here right now? Because, you know, with with everything going on, the name mentioning, and this, this, and that, you know, the drama behind the music, what would... What would be Slater's words to the kids out there who who are just getting started in this music shit? I ain't gonna lie, just do you, stay out the way. I ain't gonna lie, create a lane of your own. You feel me? Like, I don't try to just... I said, it's too many... The thing with the Bronx shit, I ain't gonna lie, is that niggas is dissing the day, disrespecting the day. You feel me? Like, I get it. You feel me? But do that shit. If you're gonna diss the day, you're gonna go crazy, man. Just stay out the way, man. You heard? Diss the day from a mansion, man. Go up, go crazy, move, and just... Start dissing niggas, you heard? Like, don't just be in a hood, man. Still in motherfucking. Mm. Know what I'm saying? Like, that so shit. So, your main word is just get out of New York. Man, get out the hood, man. You heard? Like, me, when I signed my deal, first thing I did, bro, I got out the hood, my nigga. I live with motherfucking white kids and Asians, man. <laughs> Whoa. The house, the crib that you did the IG Live from was very nice, too. I remember that. Which one? When we did our IG Live. Back in like top of the pandemic. Oh, pandemic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, my boy definitely not in definitely not in the city. Yeah, come on, man. We in good environments, man. You heard? Like we came from that. Now we in good environments where niggas can't even reach us, man. You heard? So what else we got on the way? We got still can't feel my face, right? On the way. Um what else we got cooking right you know now? You know who too from New York? Wody. Wody. Wody? Shout out my brother Wody. Wody yeah, HB. Wody. I was What's just up? thinking about that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with that Aaron Rodgers shit he got. You know what I'm saying? Me and him, we got some shit. Me and bro, we got some shit. He did tell me that. I forgot about this. He did tell me that y'all yeah, got a got record together. Shit, Wody got some shit, man. I fuck with bro. He hard. We got to drop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Wody, you heard him, man. You got yeah, to drop that, drop that, right that now. shit, man. We got to drop that shit. So you got anything else cooking that you want to let the people know before we sign off here for the day? Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Still can't feel my face coming. You feel me? And Cold at Night 2 coming too. Cold at Night 2 is coming. Yeah, yeah, Cold at Night 2. That shit done. So, what's Cold at Night 2 sounding like? Obviously, we, are we going back to the. we going back to the Cold at Night. We're going back to what made niggas fall in love. Bars. With. I'm saying we coming back to that to that raw shit. I'm saying we're going back to the melodic hooks. You feel me? Just straight bars. Man, uh, and that's gonna come before the summertime? Yeah, for sure. Because it got to come in the winter. Still can't feel my face and can't feel my face. That's just me having fun. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's just me punching in. I ain't rapping, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie. And then that shit with the cold game shit, my brand. You feel me? I mm-hmm. got my brand, cold game, separate from the music shit I got going on. Oh, yeah. I got the t-shirt, right? Yeah. Yo, got- Cam, throw me the t-shirt that I put on my bag, please. Please and thank you. Yo, toss that, toss that. Ooh. What a pack, too. What that, what that oh, guy? Oh, give me the pack, too. Give me the Show pack. Show that pack, the pack, man. Give yeah. the pack over here. <laughs> Show Good packaging. Pack, uh, Bring that pack, bring the pack over here too, just so I can show some love real quick. You know what I'm saying? See, support is free. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Yeah, let me see that pack. I'm showing that pack, man. Right, go I ain't gonna open it, so you can know what I'm saying. Crazy with it. Look at this shit right here, man. Cold game, man. Cold game flowers, man. Come get high Come with on. the cold game, cold right, game tees. You feel me? We gonna smoke cheap weed, you heard? And also, and also, the fitteds that are on the way too. Yeah, we got we got a collab on diamond supply and shit. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that's a diamond supply fitted that you posted. Nah, that's just a regular, oh, that's, just that's just cold okay. game, but we got the Diamond Supply collab, you know what I'm saying, dropping in packs on Zoomy, you feel me? We coming the right way. When's that coming out? Shit, end of this month. Because I want to make sure I can buy something. Yeah, yeah. I want to go I want to go out and buy something. I know you said you would give me the hat, you give me the hat yeah. but I want to still support in whatever yeah, way Yeah, I'm going to go buy that for the experience, because when I was in school, when I was in high school and of shit- Of oh, course, that's what we wore, bro. We was going to packs <laughs> and we was going to Zoomies to cop up a fresh Diamond Supply t-shirt, so you know what I'm saying? I did that shit for nostalgic purposes, you feel me? And I ain't going to lie. Shit so what I'm going to do is, right- can't full circle. When you give me the, when you give me the fitted- Right, I'm gonna wear the fitted. I'm gonna wear the. I'm gonna wear the t-shirt. I'm gonna go right into uh, what they got by me. I'm gonna go right into the pack sun by me. I'm gonna go buy that that cold game, diamonds and placo. Shout my nigga Dinky Diamonds too. You heard Nicky Diamonds is a good guy, man. He ain't even had to do that, man. He ain't had to give me the opportunity to. You know what I'm saying? Make something happen with him, but he did, you feel me? He took a chance. Where can people go cop the merch right now? You know what I'm saying? Like if they want to get this tea, I know you got some other teas. What tea you got? This one right here. 
Oh yeah, this the Felt collab right here. Cold Game Felt, yeah. Yeah, where can they go cop this? Cold Dash Game dot com, man. Instagram Cold Game NYC, man. I love nothing better than like a little oversized T shirt to wear during the summertime. You feel me? Yeah. I Especially know. a white tee. Come on. We running it up, man. Hundred K months. You heard? Nobody really doing it like me on the merch shit. You heard? And can they buy the fitteds when they come out too? Yeah, What's the fitteds coming out next week? Fitteds coming out next week. So make sure you go get you a fitted, man. You heard? Get, get you a fitted. That simple and get you a pack too if you want. And get you some gas, you heard. Get up later. DM the page. Nah, don't hit me. Hit Cold Game Flowers on Instagram, you heard. Delivery service, you heard. <laughs> Not for sale, man. Get right. Yo, my brother, I, first and foremost, always a pleasure having you on the show. You know what I'm saying? Always a pleasure getting to see you. Um, anything else you want to let the people know, where they can follow you at, all that good shit, this camera right here. Hey, yo, you know the vibes, man. Slater, Cold Game shit, we here, man. Find me on Instagram, Slater, Twitter, Cold Game Slater. Find me outside, man. Oh. Boom, there you go. Can't feel my face can't feel out my now. Face. Still can't feel my face on the way. Yeah. Make sure you go stream all that. Go get some merch. Go listen to his music. Go catch a vibe. Till yeah. next time. Oh, and run up the freestyle. Freestyle out tomorrow. He did two beats. You know how the switch ups go. He bodied that shit. So make sure you tune in. Slater on the radar. Till next time. My boy. My guy. What, what up, up, man? Boom.